Peace and love, everybody. This is Young Nas from I Got Options LLC. And in this video, I want to talk about how to tell if a stock is overvalued. All right, now I made a video like this in the past, but I explained how to do so using charting mechanisms and using different charting indicators. But let's say you don't want to worry about that. What are some different ways you could go about telling if a stock is overvalued? Now, this concept is actually very interesting because you have to take in consideration not what you think is overvalued, but what investors think is overvalued. And the reason I say that is because investors are the ones that are capable of drawing these stock prices up and drawing these stock prices down, All right? Retail traders don't have that much financial power to cause these stock prices to go up and down like we see every single day. So that tells you how much money is being put into these stocks on a day-to-day -day basis. All right, so with that being said, how can we tell if a stock is overvalued? The best way, the best way to tell if a stock is overvalued is to compare it with other stocks in its sector. For example, for example, we take a look at stocks like Rivian, right? Rivian Technologies. That is an EV stock. It deals with the electric vehicle space, all right? Now let's compare that stock with another stock like NEO. Now both of these stocks are in the exact same industry, all right? They both deal with the same thing, but these two stocks have different prices. Rivian Technologies is about $120 a share. Now, NEO is about $40 to $50 a share. So the difference between these two stock prices are pretty significant, which leads me on to my next step, which is finding what makes one company different from another in its own sector. All right, so what's making Rivian Technologies more of a valuable company than NEO? Right, so that causes us to do some research, do some due diligence, figure out this problem. Right? Why is the stock price of Rivian greater than NEO? And then once we come to that conclusion, we can understand, oh, okay, this is what makes this stock more valuable than this stock. All right, now with that being said, you may not find a solution, right? You might be comparing one company to another and you might not find a logical explanation for why this stock seems to be more valuable than the other. Then that lets you know that one stock is overvalued and one stock is undervalued. All right, so whenever you come to those instances, just know that it's a matter of picking the odd one out, right? If one stock is more valuable than the other, but that valuable stock has a problem with producing and manufacturing its products, yet the other one doesn't, and it's a cheaper stock, yeah, that lets you know that one stock is undervalued and one stock is overvalued. So with that being said, those are some steps that you can take to help figure out what stocks are overvalued and what stocks are undervalued, all right? Peace.